Let's learn how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Let me start by telling you a little story. Once upon a time, long, long ago, there was a quaint town named Fractionville, Mississippi. The people were kind. They cleaned their rooms. They shared. They did their chores. Most of all, the people of Fractionville loved fractions. Every morning, the people of Fractionville recite their ode to fractions. Fractions, oh fractions, you are a work of art. Your top number, the numerator, is there to tell your part. And dear bottom number, your very special role is to do us all a favor and to represent the whole. For in this world there is no such satisfaction as loving and learning to represent a fraction. Until one day, chaos ensued, and it all started in the bakery. I have three-fourths of a pan of cookies left from yesterday. Well, I have one-sixth of a pan of cookies left from yesterday. We don't know how to combine them. They don't have the same hole. What do we do? Quick, call the police. The police came to settle the argument. He had the bakers agree that they would only use the same size pan with the same hole so that they could calculate their fractions. Arguments like this went on all over town, so the police made it a law. The law stated, in order to add or subtract fractions, they must have the same denominator indicating that they are referring to the same whole. The law helped doctors and nurses. The patient took one twelfth of a tablespoon of medicine, but his dose was eight twelfths of a tablespoon. How much more of his medicine should I give him? Well, we need to subtract eight twelfths minus one twelfth. And the law says that if we are subtracting, we have to have common denominators, which we do. Both fractions have a denominator of 12. And now to subtract, we just subtract the numerators and keep the denominators the same. So since 8 minus 1 equals 7, we get 7 twelfths. It helped artists. I used five ninths of a gallon of paint to make this beautiful painting of flowers. I used two ninths of a gallon of paint to paint my vase. How much paint did you both use all together? Well, to calculate that, we would have to add five ninths plus two ninths. And the law says we can do that because they have common denominators. Okay, so then 5 nines plus 2 nines, we would add the numerator, so that's 5 plus 2, which is 7, and we would keep the denominator 9. So our answer is 7 nines. It also helped farmers. I planted three-fifths of the land plot with carrots. I planted one-fifth of the land plot with tomatoes. How much of the land plot is planted? Well, the law says we can only add fractions with common denominators. Luckily, that means we can add three-fifths plus one-fifth. We just add the numerators, so three plus one equals four, and then keep the same denominator, five. Once everyone learned how they can add and subtract fractions with common denominators, everyone lived happily ever after. The End
Thank you.